Edge devices are becoming ever more diverse. The software that runs on these devices is evolving rapidly, keeping countless Edge applications up to date all the time and across different systems, therefore, is a significant challenge. With over 20 years of experience in Edge software management and 30 million connected devices in the field, we at ICAS embrace this challenge. For us, creating the Edge Device Portal, EDP, was a logical step to manage software applications on Edge devices with ease of use in mind and via the cloud. Connecting to embedded systems with cloud services is a watershed. It makes the control and updating of software components more transparent, easier, and more flexible. However, requirements for OT systems must be fulfilled even when an update is needed while business-critical or time-critical processes are running. That is why we take a holistic approach using advanced memory-safe technology from the bottom up thereby enhancing system robustness to ensure uninterrupted operation and improve security. IoT, industrial automation, machine learning, smart mobility, vehicle test fleets. These are just some of the many diverse usage scenarios for EDP. Individual edge devices or entire device groups from complex IoT environments can be seamlessly integrated into the portal. Thus, software can be configured and updated centrally, significantly increasing transparency and saving time. It was important for us to create an easy-to-use tool for configuring, deploying, and operating software within a single centralized portal. Embedded software developers and QA engineers should then be able to develop and run deployment tests in just a few steps. Modular updates during runtime should then prevent system downtime. It is about simplifying processes to save time and improve software quality. This is where the ICAS Edge Device Portal comes in. Hi. My name is Julius Dürrenkamp, Product Manager at ICAS, and now I will demonstrate how easy it is to deploy software to Edge devices with EDP. We will start in the Device Overview with our demo device. There we can see the device status and the software already installed on the device. And now we want to get some additional new software on that device. Here we can see the software overview and now we will add the software component for the demonstration. I will just click upload, drag and drop the new software component and it's already uploaded. I will refresh and here's our newly added software component. It's a quick example that will just calculate prime numbers on the target device. And now we want to deploy our software component to the demo device. For this we go back to our device, click install, select the software component that calculates the prime numbers, select the version, click install and refresh the page. And down here the newly added software component can be seen. But before we start the software component, I will quickly switch to the target device. Here you can see currently nothing is being executed. We click start now. It will be loading the command and we are executing the prime number calculation on the target device. This quick demo showed that EDP allows you to deploy and update software components on embedded and edge devices in just three easy steps.
In addition to software deployment, users gain valuable insights into device status, access to a powerful API, and EDP can integrate into their existing DevOps workflow.